Welcome to the first week of our online elementary statistics class. We have a lot of weeks to go, but in week one, we're really going to get acquainted with survey design. How to conduct a survey, and how to collect data, and then how to look at some of the very basics, like mean and median, and what we're going to call standard deviation. So I was thinking, it would be really interesting to find out how long our students have until they finish their degree at Lake Tahoe Community College. So I thought I'd maybe conduct a survey. So maybe I'll ask a couple people and see how it goes. Maybe ask a couple random people. So let's find out. Um, excuse me. Uh, how long do you think you're going to be until you finish here at Lake Tahoe Community College? Another year. Just one more year? Yeah. So about 12 months? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Excuse me, how long is it going to be before you finish at Lake Tower Community College? Uh, you know, I don't know if that's any of your business. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. All right, so you can see that there are very big issues with conducting a survey and finding out people. One is what we call voluntary response, is that some people will answer the question and some people will not answer the question. And if the type of people who don't answer your question are different than the type that do answer your question, then you have a biased sample. The other biggie is what I mentioned was that I would take a random group of people. Well, this isn't random at all. I asked two people that happened to be near me. This is evening. It's almost 6 o'clock. They're night students. That's not random at all. Also very biased. So we want to come up with ideas on how we can actually get a study that is representative of the student population at Lake Tahoe Community College. And we're going to learn about that all week. We're going to have things like cluster sampling, and stratified sampling, and systematic sampling, and simple random sampling. And it's going to be actually pretty complex, but we'll persevere and get through it. And please ask questions when they come up. So suppose that we did do the survey, and we finally came up with all of our results, all the data, all the people answered the question. Well, then we want to find out the statistics. So what is the mean? What is the standard deviation? Standard deviation is going to measure how spread out the data is. Is everybody near just a year left to graduate? Or are there some people that have a month? And some people can have six years left before they finish. We're going to also have other things like the range. And we're going to have something called the quartiles, the first and third quartile, the median, many, many statistics that will help us understand the data better. So thank you again for watching this video. This is our very first week. And hopefully you'll enjoy the week and you'll enjoy all the weeks throughout the entire course. So thanks again for coming. And welcome to Elementary Statistics Week 1. I'll see you throughout the quarter. Bye.